Welcome back, or welcome to the Vortex, the Time Vortex. This is Strato, Time Lord Strato, here for the third installment of today's episode, The Ball. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying, and uh, let's get on with the show. Alright, so um, the dinner is very good chicken, they're Diana, you know. Um, she makes polite conversation with you about, um... Welcome to the Vortex, the time Vortex. This is Strato Time, or Strato here for the fourth and final installment of today's episode. Again, I am still hoping you guys are enjoying, and let's get on with the show. Our dogs and stuff. And when, when you see your dogs, you know those little, um, little Yorkshires or whatever, the little teeny little ankle biters running around? Mm -hmm. They probably wear enough jewelry to to buy like the whole city of Fort Hope. If, if she, you know, she's got tons of jewelry. They just like running around. Poor dogs. Poor dogs covered in like a couple hundred thousand. Gold pieces and gems, yeah. Like, show the dogs. Time to kill some doggies. <laughs> One of those dogs runs away from home. It's an epidemic. Yeah. Alright. Um, after the dinner is over, um, Her Majesty, yeah, she basically thinks you kind of showing up and everything. Um... So, Hardwin, you know it's getting pretty close to the time where you got to show up for the for your adventure. Uh, yeah. It's getting closer to night time because lunch has just ended and that lunch took like two hours. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to sleep or what? <laughs> I don't expect you to. Arduin, you're gonna swing by and get the uh, air class or no? Or do you have the mm. money? I don't have the money, um, and I'm not a, and I'm not planning to buy it either. All right, okay. You don't want to tell him that you'll buy your wedding ring there? Uh, nah. I, I said I will think about it. I thought I will do it. Well. Think about it doesn't get you free 2,000 gold hair clasps. And yet, I do not plan to use uh, to give it to her. I don't plan to give it to anybody. Okay, okay. Right. Yet. Alright, so... <sighs> so, Lanley, you find the sculptor just staring at this block of marble. Just sitting there, pouting, looking at it. He sees Napa and he, his eyes widen up and he's like, Ah, you came back! So. <laughs> Wait, who are we talking about? Sorry, I didn't listen. Napa. Oops. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> yeah. He did talk to you right away, so. Ah, you came back! Yes. A friend of mine wishes to speak to you about something. Um, depending oh. on how that goes, things may happen. Oh, okay. Uh, Your Majesty, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, um, sorry, I, I don't do... Well, I mean, a painting would do you better. That's perfectly fine. I'm not here expecting anything. I'm actually here. I, I wanted to ask you something on behalf of my friend Nothfell here. Ah, okay. Of course you're Good break. Well, you see, Nothfell here is tentatively interested in posing for y your sculpture. But he doesn't want to do it in the nude. Correct. He is concerned that 
he, he's just concerned about the idea of being completely nude for it for a number of reasons. Oh, uh, is he embarrassed? I mean, I think it should be more, I mean... He, he's... Well, between you and me, I lean a little close. I'm not sure his wife would be the most happy if she found out about it, so I think he's trying to head that one off early. Oh, well, if I could speak to her, his wife, and, and sure... That will be done in the most best taste possible. I well, unfortunately, she's not available. She's living further north right now and still well, in a bit of a delicate let, situation. Let me, let me say this. If I can do the, the sculpture, I'll give it to him as a gift for his wife. I, I just I must sculpt him. I can cannot continue sculpting unless I sculpt it. it just can't. I kind of turn and raise an eyebrow at that one at Nothfell. Oh, Not sure God. how he feels about it if he's the one that gets the sculpture. I mean... Uh... But if I'm giving it to you for free, then I must... I cannot pay you. I already paid money for the the marble. And there's no way you could even do uh, more of a tasteful loincloth or something. Besides. I don't know, Your Majesty, if you've ever seen that man naked, but I'm assuming he'd be majestic. You know what? It's probably happened at some point, let's be honest here. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm sure you have no idea. And you're like, you're like, uh, naked guy, I don't know what you want me to say. I, I, I don't know. I need some details, DM. Mm -hmm. I've, I've known him for 50 years, I'm sure. I've seen it. Come on. What, what's it look like? Give me the deets. <laughs> the How's he look? Uh, yeah, I mean, Is his wife happy? You, you assume that he's gonna. Break Kidding, please don't answer those questions. Please don't question, answer those questions. That was a joke. Um, that was a joke? Okay. Is you really thought you were serious there for a second, though. No. Yes, no, yes. I, he's not. completely serious. He's serious. I'm not completely serious. Yes, you are. Alright, well. I do not want to go down this path in my do Dungeons it. and Dragons campaign. Do it. Do yeah. it. Alright. So, I mean, that's up to you, Diana, what you want to say from that point. I mean, at that, it's kind of up to Natho at this point. I've, right now he's got the option, right now we have narrowed it down to the options of he's fine doing nude for no money and Natho keeps the statue or nude for a thousand gold and Natho does not get to keep the statue and... Uh, I don't believe that 23 with diplomacy is quite... Uh, apparently that 23 is not high enough to convince him to go non-nude. Um, I mean... I'm going to say... He graciously like bows his head like, yeah, I understand, but... He's not bludging. From... He feels that it would be a disservice, and, it, and it's not going to challenge them. But then, Michael's putting a huge statue in marble. I mean, Michelangelo did it. It was tough. Did he put both on him? He it wouldn't be smart. It's a well, challenge. Yeah. Now, Phil, what do you want to do? I have, I mean. So we need him to do it one way or another for something else, right? Yeah. Effectively. I mean, I'll do it if I could, like, if I did it and kept the statue for my wife. Would that hurt us in any way? It wouldn't hurt us in any no. way. I mean, you give it to your wife, and nah, you, it would hurt us in that you, of you at home. Say, it would hurt us in on. that you wouldn't get a thousand I gold from him, but I mean that. It's I'm like, not worried well, about the thousand gold. <laughs> that's gold that you didn't have anyways, so it's not really losing uh, anything. So, no, I don't think there's any real downside to it. 
It's I guess. it was seen as more uh, acceptable back then. I'm pretty sure too. So, I mean, I I guess I could do it, and I'll give it to my wife. That seems reasonable. All right. Sweet. Uh, I Nice. Yeah. He starts to get to work on it, and uh, I'm assuming Landley and Diana are not around while he's working on this thing. That was not the plan. Okay. Where do you go for the rest of the night there, Landley and Diana? We can always just go hang out back at your mansion. That's kind of what I figured we'd do. We'll just head back over there. Well, uh, actually, I probably need to make a detour first. He does tell you that he will, uh, I'm assuming you tell him about the dogs. And he, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you know that as soon as he finishes this work, he will probably go work on the dogs. Cool. He promises you that he will. He does like <laughs> stupid dogs, anyways. I don't blame him there. Alright. I'm going Where to actually go? go try to visit, visit the teleportation location. Okay. And I'm going to try to get a teleport to Fort Hope. Okay. Uh, you can get a teleport to Fort Hope. I'm going to go find Tarkin. Okay. Are you going with him, Diana? Um... Um, yeah, sure, why not? Like, I'm not going to stay completely gone. I just want to get this out of the way. Because I'm like, I don't want to be wandering around with, you know, 20,000 gold and two diamonds yeah, for a while. Good. I would rather give it to Tarkin right away and be like, and here's this so you can get talking to him and get that taken care of. All right. Uh, actually, instead, I'll probably just go, um, I'll probably, there's no real point in me going back there, so I'll just go back to... Landley's mansion, and I guess hang out there for a while. <laughs> hang out there for a while. Probably go over more adventuring lessons with Lillian. That's like, probably a good move. <laughs> today's lesson: This is a demon. This is not a demon. Don't get them confused. They they don't look alike at all. I'm not sure how anybody could think that this was a demon, but you know, sometimes it happens with certain people. <laughs> this is an undead. This is a demon. They are not the same. Please do not run at the undead screaming demon. <laughs> that does not help. Right. You probably shouldn't run at the demon screaming demon either, but, you know, that's slightly more appropriate. Alright, um, when you're walking with not hard, hard when, um, <laughs> that's hard when, that's a person. <laughs> yeah, when you, when you about ready to get to the, um, land release place, you're stopped by a couple of you see a couple of men waiting at the uh, gate. The guards look at them and they approach, look at you, and um, they the guards approach them and ask them what they want, you know. And uh, they tell you that the gentleman wishes to speak to you. Very well, I let them through. They uh, walk through and bow to your, your majesty. Uh, my name is... Uh, and and uh, this is my brother, and we were brought here as uh, entertainment for your majesty, uh, where uh, 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 sword fighters. And uh, we, we master gods of uh, fencing. We need. Uh, we'd be willing to display our skills to Her Majesty, and uh, in hopes that she would uh, grace us with uh, uh, to to um, grace us with dinner. Hmm. I would be happy for to do that. I am have always been very interested in the. Um, 
part of fencing. My my own instruction in the sword is much more focused on, uh, shall we say, the more battlefield type and less of the sport. Yes. Of course. Yes, feel free. Um, I would be happy to uh, give you dinner in exchange for some entertainment. Um, you are brought inside. Uh, they do like a really cool performance of fencing and stuff. Cool. And you get dinner set up. Um, Hardwin, so you arrive at the lady's house. And just from the balcony, um, you see her looking down on you. Let me go ahead and pull her picture out for you. You should be able to see her picture as well in your list. Uh, what's her name again? Uh, Brianna Takoy. You should oh, be able I see her. See now. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's actually hot. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm torn between my loves now. <laughs> no, uh, Tulin's is still more hot and sexy. <laughs> I she cannot smiles. lie. She smiles as you walk down, and uh, her father greets you, as well as some guards. Um, most of the people that are there, you recognize as uh, members of the of soldiers that were with you when you fought the trolls. And they and they like look at you and like, ah yes, he stood there and didn't even waver one bit. We lost so many people, like because I mean you guys were the ones that lost the most people in that battle. Yeah. But we also the longest it took to uh, lose any of those two did, I mean. Yeah. It's like we prevented the her Majesty from losing any of her troops. They're proud of that fact. They're like, oh, yep, Her Majesty. Her first battle went well because of us dying. Um, you're great. So basically, there's, there's, uh. They take you out to this like courtyard in the back, where there's a, like a pike formation all set up, and he sits you. Uh, the general sits you down next to him, and uh, Brianna uh, steps out from the courtyard. Uh, she's she's not dressed in her uh, what she looked like before, but now she's in uh, full play male with a. Uh, um, a spear, a uh, long spear, so to speak, and she steps out, and all the everybody else like, and she s starts yelling orders and barking, uh, and there's like these formation, they do like formation uh, drills, um, and um, people run out from the and start running out and like try to attack her from the formation drills, and she's like, fends them off in a display of, of spearmanship that you've very rarely seen from anybody except for a trained soldier. And her her skills with the spear and are sec second only. Yeah. Never seen someone so skilled with a spear before. Uh, he smiles, and he's like, ah, oh, see, my... My daughter, in, her in all of her glory, I trained her well. And she was five years old. And she could walk. She's been holding a spear in her hand. My, both my daughters. The Takoy family. The pikes. He's like, when you get a bunch of long pikes in formation, no army can stand against it. And they continue and have dinner with you. Uh, after the display, she then, of course, dresses in more formal attire, and um, they 
they take over to the dinner and you guys are sat there by yourself. Like there's a, there's a big old table, like, you know, one of those, like a big dining room, uh, like more of a barracks type of, like a, less like a dining room, more of a, a uh, like a high school cafeteria. Cause there's like a bunch of soldiers there and they're all sitting there eating. But like off in the corner, there's like a small table, and he's and she's he sits you ne- in that table, and she sits down next to you, and they're all everybody else is in the room just sitting there drinking and eating, while while you guys are having a conversation. And she she looks at you and is like, so what'd you think? Did you enjoy uh, the, uh, the 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 this uh, the marching? Well, I must say, I am impressed by your skills. And I didn't exactly expect you to show up in Bellham or oh, none of all that. I'm pretty impressed. No. Like, I, I understand. Uh, well, um, you didn't see my sister fight before, have you? No. But I have heard about her piking. Uh, I remember that I heard information from Fort um, from Fort Hope that she piked a couple of people by mistake, I guess. She didn't. To be honest, she didn't know ex- the rules of our people. She was using yours, but. She have quite a punishment, but she still lives, of course. Yes. Anyone caught stealing, if you have the ability to pipe them, you are not. There's no charges are pressed against you. I think your uh, valuables. Well, what I heard a few days ago, by stealing, you first, as in warning, you lose. A finger, then a hand, and then you get pike. They was the first time they was caught by her, and that was a joke only on a, yes, but, a friend. Yeah. Yes, but if you catch them, then you get pike. Well, that doesn't completely seem fair. Hmm. You're right. It doesn't really seem fair. Uh, that should be changed. If you catch, if you catch some a criminal, then you have the right to prosecute them because they're lords. Uh, in in our country, we don't do that. Uh, we have people who whose job are to just people. We aren't. Sometimes it is good yes to take just in your own hand, but you also need to. Sometimes step back and think it over if it's really, really just the, what you're doing. But I want to give them another chance by putting them to the, the people that actually are supposed to judge them. Or you're just them yourself. That is something you need to think about. Oh, I understand, man. It's what fascinates me about you, Finlandians, the most. That, uh, you have more, a little bit more freedom than normal. She kind of looks around and sees, and she kind of leans over and whispers a little bit. Sometimes it feels a little crowded, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, yeah. I noticed that you were, I heard you were fascinated, you were in uh, a strong in battle, were you not? Yes, I, I have been training most of my life, so I have prepared for a lot of things. I have even beaten a red dragon all alone. 
Yes, I heard about that, your mount. I yes. was uh, considering doing the same, but um, didn't know whether or not I was ready. Uh, perhaps we could spar later to figure out if I measure up to your magnet, uh, my your strength and see if I'm worthy enough to get a dragon myself. Well, yeah, we can do that. All right. All right. So let's get it going here. Let's get this started. Yeah. Oh yes, I'm the only one who gets to fight the system. <laughs> Screw you all. You're gonna fight the sister? Is that what you said? <laughs> well, we're gonna spare, so we yes. Yes. Sir. All right, let's get this going then. This is going to be fun. Yes, it will. Be <sighs> fun. Get all going. <laughs> let's see how bad uh, this goes. Can't be any worse than the demon. I got two shot in. <laughs> two shot. Bam, bam, done. Crit, crit, dead. <laughs> I didn't even get a hit. I actually missed it. And it's just like, it's my demon. Why can't I hit it? Because it was your demon. Screw you. Yeah. You're so mean. I know, we're horrible people. <laughs> you may be horrible people, but I'm not. I'm not a, a horrible well, person. You're the worst of us. What? I would even sacrifice my humanity just to save the people. How am I the worst? Alright, so... Alright, so she will grab her... Sword, uh, so go ahead, she lets you go first. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna grab my, my, uh, Earthbreaker and then attack her with all my strength. Okay, go ahead. Because I'm not holding back after what I've seen before. I know she can handle it. Yes. Um... Armor class is uh, 22. Oh, that's a high armor class. Well, I could hit anyway. We got a hit. That's 11, so let me just double check. And actually, there's two hits. Oh, wait, no, uh, that's two hits. Didn't, uh, never mind. Didn't, never mind. You, uh, didn't you take Furious Focus as a feat? Furious Focus? Uh, yes. Yeah, so I don't know if you have it. Uh, mathed in there correctly, because those attack rolls are only five apart. Um, the first attack should be higher to hit because you don't take power attack penalties on that one. I know that I've removed that. Well, are you still taking the power attack penalties on the second one? I... It's, well, it you should be at a uh, seven less than the top one then, because it's five for the iterative and then two for power attack. Uh wait so so uh, that uh, furious focus only account for the first attack? Yes, furious focus only ignores the power attack penalty on the first attack. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay. Well, that's my. So yeah, okay. My was, it, it doesn't make a difference yeah. for this one. I just wanted to make sure you have it on your sheet, right? Because okay, this one, the to... first one still would have hit, and the second one still would have missed. Okay, I have had that in now. Okay. Hmm. So, well, still eleven damage. Oh wait, my power tag is actually four extra. Yeah. So it's a uh, fifty. Oh, oh, aren't you 15. aren't you willing that two-handed? Yes. Then it's six, not four. Oh, mm -hmm. wait, what? 
Uh, uh, power, gonna... attack is, power attack is plus two damage, plus three damage if you are two-handing a weapon. And then it goes up by an additional three or two, depending on oh. if you're two-handing a weapon or okay. not. Okay, I'm gonna add that in then. I, I didn't... I didn't know so, that. So, how much right. damage, so? So, that is... Let's see. 17 damage. Okay. Oh, wait, no, uh, oh. So, yes, she, yes, will, uh, she will also power attack, which is... um. Minus two on both her attacks. Let's see if she can hit. I have a feeling she's gonna hit both. Why do I have that feeling? Uh, so it is her first attack. Yep. And her second attack. That is a really high to the, hit. The oh, that didn't hit. Okay. Only the first one. So. That'd be a D8 plus. So that's... Um, one... Plus... 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 <laughs> so sixteen points of damage to you. Oh to I, uh, Is this uh, gonna be the red dragon all over again? Yep. Maybe. At least this have... time you're not trying to shoot somebody in melee range. Go ahead and uh, attack her back. This one. Oh, come on, please, 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 please. No! <laughs> oh, yeah, this is gonna be the red dragon all over again. Uh, oh, that exactly hit my AC. Ah. No! <laughs> no! So, 22 and 21. Ew. So, 40 points of damage. Those are some impressive to hit bonuses. Yeah. Plus 17, plus Oh, 12. yeah. That means she's got a plus 19 without power attack. Yep, she does. Wow. Oh, God, she's gonna, she's gonna beat me. She's strong. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> we have the same armor class, but we can, I cannot hit her. This is twice. Oh, oh yes. Try again. Yes. Oh, please, please, please. Oh! <laughs> I'm grateful no. for... But the hit looked pretty good. Not confirmed. Ah, damn it. Well, so, 17. 17, I mean. 17 damage. 17, okay. God. So, I really hope it was confirmed because then it would have been the red dragon all along. Yeah, that would have been... Yeah. Okay, I'm, Even getting I'm the start. first attack through would have been nice, just to get that extra damage. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down now, guys. I'm gonna lose to a girl. Hey, I'm, no, I'm not even gonna you count know, that. You could probably lose to Diana, and she's a girl. But she was well, a boy. You take me twice. Probably exactly. lose to Landley. Are you out? Yeah, I I don't need to calculate that. Uh, yeah, I'm out. Right. I easily got beaten by her. As you fall, she she's like. Uh, she smiled. Um, she she tap slightly taps you on the last hit. Like that was an excellent fight. I mean, uh, she she smiles and blushes at you. I see you were just trying to make it, take it easy on me, like all the guys do. She goes, "I appreciate that." Thank you. He wants to say the truth, but he's not gonna say anything about it. So, okay. <laughs> like yeah. all the other guys, it's like they tried to beat her up, and then they're like, "Yeah, yeah I'm just, you know, l let you beat me." <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, Lanley. So you give the gems to Tarkin. Yep. Oh wait, I'm so put down on Lightspeech, the portal is up 
going to be up and running soon. So you can now mark that down. Portal to other lands. Um, Nathal, when you're finished with the sculpture, this puts Michelangelo's David to shame. But it is a, it is a sculpture of you naked. So of course, mm. not sure if you're like, oh man, that's awesome, or like I'm a little embarrassed about it. Slightly embarrassed about it. Okay. So uh, Diana, while you're sitting there uh, eating with the gentleman that just finished showing you dueling and stuff like that, you see this. Uh, you hear some people kind of shouting a little bit and yelling at each other, like, hey, move that over there. Hey, uh, careful with that. Yep, yeah, over there. All right, sweet. You hear this thunk and uh, Nathal walking in. Uh, oh, hey, Nathal. How's it going? It's, uh, it's all right, I guess. How'd uh, your statue turn out? A little weird. A little weird? Uh, to me. I'm sure oh. it's great. That's fair. I, I don't think I need to see it. Uh, just to wait if Eva Harvin's going to find out about that. <laughs> they, they're curious, so they get up and go to the living room where the statue is sitting there in all its glory. I'm sure he would have covered up with the sheet while it was being transported. Oh, yeah, no, it was covered with a sheet. Oh, yeah. Transport. No, the sheet is off, and the artist is like, yes, perfect spot. And he walks away. Like, puts it puts it in a spot, like, that would be perfect for it, in, in, in Landley's house. And, like, stands there, admires his work, it's like, ah, my masterpiece. He looks at it, and he, he, he just marvels at it, puts his hand to his chest. I hope you enjoy it. If, if, um, and for all your life, he, he, he then walks away. <laughs> of course, he did. So Diana and uh, the, the strangers see it. They're like, ah. No, I, I said I was staying in my room. Are I'm staying wherever I am. Staying where you're at? So the, yeah, I'm good. What their impression of that whole statue is, see if they're... I probably can see them reacting to seeing Nothville's statue, which is funny, but yeah. I don't need to see the statue. They like they look at each other. You can tell like they are not sure what to say, but they politely then go, "That's a magnificent statue, sir. It looks a lot like you. I mean, I mean, it captures your eyes very well." Yeah, the eyes. I sighed to myself, I'm like, this is weird. <laughs> Alright, so, um, uh, Nathal, you do see them eating dinner, so they set out a plate for you. Um, so, Lanley, when you walk into your living room, you see naked Nathal. And the first thing that greets you when you walk in the door. She's like, walk in, stop, like, because it's like, you walk in, you look at it, and just like, stop. I look at what, I look for for one of them, it's like, get a sheet and put it over that place. They're like, yes, they're like, they're like yes, yes, ma'am, and they throw a sheet over it. <laughs> well, dangly bits were in your living room. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't cover it up yourself, Nathvel. I'm too weirded out by it. <laughs> you know what? Leave it uncovered so when Hardwin walks in, he can freak out over it. It'll be funny. Well, that's like the choice. I mean, you want to come, you're you the first one to come in before Hardwin does, so... And I'm like, cover it, and I'm like, you know what? As as I'm walking out, walking to the next room, uncover it so Hardwin can see it. I want to hear his reaction. <laughs> oh God! Okay. They're like, they they're about ready to cover it. Like, yes, ma'am. They're like disappointed a little bit. They're like, okay, we're well, <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> so, uh, 
she she does uh, like you a lot, and uh, she does tell you that if you want to come see her again, just let her family know. And uh, she does give you um, her handkerchief. Well, you have a token of favor. We got a handkerchief. Oh, did uh, Hardwin get a can... handkerchief? Yeah, yeah, Hardwin did. Hardwin got her handkerchief. Yeah, and he cannot just deny it because that's like saying he's not interested at all. Just like. Ah. So when you're all grumpy and kind of like you got your butt beat, you're like upset, like uh, you walk Hardwin. into the room and you see not. But marble statue of Neville. I mean, the statue is like um, pure granite marble. It's a little bit bigger than Neville is, and naturally size. But you see, Harvin stops up for a bit, just staring at it, just like trying to hold in a laugh, and just like he can't hold it in, and just. <laughs> Just made the day much better. Much better. Oh, See if your girlfriend likes it. <laughs> uh, I have no girlfriend. Well, yeah, ain't girlfriend. that the truth? Uh, oh. Now he's just looking at courting one of two girls, and he can't decide which one to do. <laughs> uh, he right. wants to coy or his other girl. Well, he's got one that's an exotic dancer, and one that can beat the crap out of him. And another will I have a child with. Well, I'm not sure. I didn't know that was an option. Okay. Well, well it still is, but I don't want it. I guess, you know, keep your doors unlocked or whatever. <laughs> don't burn your bridges. I suppose a okay, woman who literally gives you a plague when you're too close to her is still a, an option available to you. I don't want her. I don't want her. I don't know what happened. All right. I want you. Well, that looks like a, sounds like a good uh, place to stop it, uh, uh, Bast roll on the floor, laughing his ass up, and that nightly seem to enjoy the whole spectacle of <laughs> and and gesturing towards the staff to cover Nathal's beautiful marble statue. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, yes, I'm actually thinking Hardwood's losing losing his mind right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. trying to think of how the hell I'm gonna get it back. Right. What you said to? Uh, oh, oh, I haven't delivered. I haven't delivered. Everyone gets 3,000 XP. 3,000. Okay. Alright, and uh, go ahead and sign us out there, Landwish. Give me just a second. Gotta put in the XP first. This was another goofy episode. <laughs> 11,000 more XP and I'm at level. <laughs> sort of right. a goofy episode. But... My experience got... Wiped out on my sheet. I don't uh, here, I can tell you how much you have. You have. We just 40, got three thousand more. Yeah. Yeah. So we 1, have four, forty thousand and one. Wait, you have one? I don't. I gave him uh, like, a little bit extra, I think, for. I don't remember. Something like that. I have like three hundred extra, but I'm fine with just this. It's fine. <laughs> Just forty thousand. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I have. Yeah, I have forty-two thousand, but that's because I still have extra XP and stuff. Uh huh. Uh huh. Whatever, mom. <laughs> I do hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode. If you did, you know, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next round. As for now, this is Strato Time, Lord Strato, signing out.